World Science Fiction Society. I hope the people have read the various things here. Um, the meeting is being recorded. Other people are welcome to record or take pictures or whatever they'd like. Uh, people are speaking, and better if they came up front, use the lectern, or we actually have, you can see, video projection capabilities. Um, hopefully, people have marked their attendance on the attendance list, which is uh, by the entrance, and seems not to be causing too much of a backup, so I guess we'll leave it there for the time being. If you didn't, you can head back over and mark your attendance. Um, there are business meeting attendee ribbons up front, and they should silence your uh, <coughs> cell phones and the like. So, this is the site selection meeting, and under our rules, uh, site selection business is the special order of business for this meeting, which gives it priority over everything else. So, at this point, I'd like to call for the support of the NASFIC uh, site selection. Uh, good morning. Um, first, I'd like to. Uh, Name? Uh, this is Patrick Malloy, the uh, sub delegated uh, NASFIC uh, manager. Uh, I'd like to give a couple of. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, shout out and so thank you to uh, Mark Litteman, my, my deputy on the NASFIC side, uh, for all his help over the last few days, and uh, as well as Joni, the overall site selection administrator, uh, for her incredible organizational skills that made everything run very smoothly down there. Um, also, congratulate the, the two bids for very well run um, and very close race. Uh, we had a total of 453 votes, nine of them were no preference. Therefore, 444 uh, votes with, with a preference, so 223 uh, votes were needed to win. We had uh, one vote for Minneapolis in 5773, <laughs> <laughs> one vote for Gnawbone, Indiana, one, none of the above. 210 votes for Phoenix and 231 votes for Detroit. Um, so by a good thin margin of, uh, well, uh, uh, 21 votes over the uh, competitor and uh, uh, eight votes more than was needed to uh, gain a majority of Detroit is declared the winner. It's in, it's in her email. I'll email it, it's in her email. She doesn't know that, but it's in her email. Okay. Any questions on the on the vote? Okay. Thank you. Uh, is there any objection to ordering the ballots destroyed? Hearing none. The ballots are ordered destroyed. Technology at work. Not the, not the clever 21st century switching device. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Glazer, I raise a question of privilege for the assembly while Mr. Glazer uh, fiddles with the deck. 
Uh, I'd like to, we're going to have a number, of, this is not the last presentation that's going to happen this morning. I, for the purpose of the videography, I'd like to let all of the groups coming up on up here in front realize that there's some blue tape located to my left and right on the floor. Um, those are the edges of the shot. Um, unless you like seeing only half your head in the shot, it's a good idea to stay within the blue lines. Thank you.
She's received many awards for her visionary contributions in technology, innovation, and business leadership. She's been inducted into the Women in Technology International Hall of Fame and the National Academy of Engineering, and she's a trustee of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and the Boston Museum of Science. Next slide, please. We're very excited to announce that Roger Sims and Fred Prophet will be our con chairs emeritus, and that that will be great. Legends and Chairs of the 1959 World Con, which was held in Detroit and was called the Tension. Next slide, please. We're very excited about the 1959 World Con and what that means for us as we deliver our vision of the NASPIC to you. Uh, we want to bring uh, our experience of the past, present, and future together. Uh, we will be highlighting detention through an entire track uh, devoted to both looking back at the con itself and also looking back at uh, what did, in 1959, what did we think the future would be like, and what is the future that we've arrived in today? Where did we get it right? Where did we get it wrong? We're also looking forward to taking some of the detention panel topics and rerunning them with uh, modern panelists. So we're very excited about that, uh, and think it'll be a really great way to commemorate Detroit's Spanish history. Uh, Detroit also has a number of very active conventions in, in the area, and those conventions are uh, providing inspiration for us and and are part of what we want to present to you. Uh, Confusion and Conclave are the two uh, uh, images at the top right. Uh, Confusion is my con running home and where I take my con running philosophy from. And that means a strong focus on literary science fiction with as many authors as we can cram in the rooms. Uh, and as well as a focus on uh, science and technology. These are things that we uh, are very important to us in Michigan, especially in our location in Detroit, still an R&D hub. And uh, we're, we'll be focusing on those things at the convention because we think that fans really like the science in science fiction. Uh, but we also uh, have uh, newer conventions in Michigan, and one of those is PenguinCon. And PenguinCon is an SF slash Linux open source techie geek kind of convention. And this has been an amazing convention in Michigan for bringing in all sorts of new people to fandom and exposing them to what it is that we do. Um, PenguinCon has a strong focus on DIY and makers, and those are things that we also think are very important and critical in Detroit right now. Fans like to do, fans like to create, fans like to make things happen, and we will be focusing on all sorts of ways in which you can do that at the con. We will, of course, also have art programming, very strong children programming, children's programming, a fantastic Midwestern hospitality suite open 24 hours a day, gaming exhibits, we're very excited. Music. Music. Of course, music. Uh, and and uh, next slide, please. Because, as I said, we have a lot going on in Michigan, and this is our opportunity to introduce Michigan fandom to you, and also to introduce many members of Michigan fandom to who we are, and to what Worldcom fandom, and Wispus fandom, and this, uh, this, this room and this amazing gathering is. And so we know that to do that, we need to make our pricing competitive. We need to be able to uh, to allow our local members uh, in our region to attend. So uh, we are uh, presenting uh, adult current. These are current prices: uh, adult 55, child 25, supporting 35, and these will be valid through uh, December 31st. If you um, pre if you voted and pre-supported our bid at any level, you already have an attending membership, and I expect to see all of you next July. Next slide, please. As I said, this is my pit crew, um, and uh, I could not have done the bid without them, and I look forward to working with all of them as we move ahead. Because we only have ten and a half months to run our convention, uh, we have most of our major divisions in place so that we can hit the ground running on day one. Expect people to be coming up to Welcome you. Welcome to day one. Welcome to day one. <laughs> Expect people to be coming up to the in the hallways uh, and asking you for uh, asking you questions today. Um, so up on the screen are our major division heads, but we also have many members who are here in the room who aren't necessarily reflected there. So I just wanted to give the committee a brief moment to introduce themselves and tell you what they'll be doing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kathy Lehman. I'm going to be running parties and fan tables. I'm Mark Hall. I'll be in charge of exhibits. 
Ann Gray. I've been on the web team, and I will be the publisher liaison. I'm Jesse Pershing. I'm going to be the convention safety officer. So it'll be my job to make sure the convention is safe for everyone who attends. I'm Joel Sockham. I'm, not, not, I'm sure they'll find something for me to do. It's not set in stone yet. So. <laughs> I'm Jeff Bugler, I'm part of the Programming Brain Trust, and I'm specifically in charge of re trying to recreate the 59 program and updating it to the 21st century. I'm Helen Montgomery, and I will be the chair's advisor. I'm Kim Kaufmill, and I'll be running programming. Uh, I'm Dave Stein, I'll be handling operations and making sure everything gets in the rooms on time and the AV works. No, no, no fun intended. Uh, so thank you very much. Yes, this drove me insane earlier. Thank you. I'm Evelyn Baker. I'm committee at large. Good morning, I'm Mark Bernstein. I'll be putting together the music programming. I look forward to a good diverse track with various styles of music, and I am always open to suggestions. And I'm Dave Gallagher. I'm doing a facilities hotel liaison. As, uh, we didn't have them tell you where they're from, but this committee reflects uh, reflects people from all across the United States as well as Canada. We will truly be a North American convention. We are directly across the border from Windsor. You have to go south to get into Canada from where we are. <laughs> and, uh, and so you're getting two countries for the price of one. Uh, and of course, uh, we cannot make an aspect happen just these people here. So next slide, please. Perhaps your name can go here as well. <laughs> We are, of course, actively looking to recruit people. We have some major departments that we're still looking to fill, but then, of course, we'll need lots of staff and lots of assistance. So if you would be interested in being involved with uh, DEPCON 1, please, next slide, stop by our registration table after the business meeting today. Uh, come to our On the Road to Detroit party tonight at 9 p.m. in room 3332, uh, or visit www.debtcon1.org. Thank you very much. We'll be at the same tables as where the NASPIC site selection happens, so that's where you'll know to look for us. Are there any questions? <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. What's the conversion fee for someone who voted in site selection but didn't produce the first? Twenty dollars. You need to repeat the questions. Uh, the question was, what will the conversion be for someone who voted but did not pre-support? The answer is twenty dollars. Uh, that's also good until December thirty-first. When will you be open for conversion? Uh, after the business meeting, as soon as we've had a chance to set up our table. Uh, back there in the pink. Did you plan a bus ride? Blood drive. Plan a blood drive. <coughs> we have not considered that. The question was, do we plan a blood drive? And we have not considered that yet. Um, Eva? Yeah, is there a, a young adult break? There is not currently a young adult rate, but we are um, we are considering offering one, so uh, we'll get back to you once we've had a chance to look at the pros and cons. Adam? Do you have a room rate yet? We do have a room rate. Our rooms are $118. Wireless is $1. We don't know why either, but that's how they made us do it. <laughs> uh, I should note on our child membership that goes up to age 12, uh, and we do have very robust children's programming that uh, children can do on their own with other parents. Uh, children three and under are, uh, are considered kids and toner. Joey. You better believe we're going to have a program like flying cars. Yes, in fact, I got a message from Bill Davis. <laughs> Any other questions? There is a, already a form up on our website with, uh, with pro, uh, where you can submit your programming suggestions, and registration is also live on our website. Thank you all.